Hi everyone, it's Ali and welcome back to the Heavy Doodle YouTube channel. Thanks so much for joining us. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really bright and colourful Wingman card using the Wingman stamp set and the unbelievable stencil as well. So there's the stencil and the stamp set that I'm going to use. Wingman stamp set's really cute and these two go so well together. I'm also going to use the Lawn Fawn Scallop Pop-Up Box Card Die and also a leaf die from a Kayser Craft Set Vines. So I've cut two of those base card pieces and I'm sticking those together in the centre. And then I'm going to do my stenciling. Now I did do my stenciling in sections but... In the end, I really don't think you need to section off. I think you could just stencil the whole back side of the card, the pop-up box card lying like this, flip all of it over and then stencil the whole other side. And I really wish I'd have done that to begin with because I just, it took me a little while to do this and I'm not quite sure. I think I was just thinking of how I wanted the card to look and I wasn't really sure whether I wanted the whole thing covered in stenciling or not. But in the end, I pretty much did. So um, you could really, if you're recreating it, just go ahead and do the whole back and then the whole front all in one go. Much easier, much less time consuming. And that's why we do these videos. So you don't have to do all the fiddling that we've had to do. <laughs> so it, the second colour that I used, the first colour was Twisted Citron, that light one. The second colour was Lucky Clover. So I'm just going to use a sort of a twisting motion with my sponge, actually. That worked a little bit better than moving it from side to side. Um, and it just got the ink through the stencil really nicely as well. So as I, had, I, as I said, I just went ahead and did the stenciling in sections. But um, don't do as I do. <laughs> do as I say. <laughs> and do it a little bit differently <laughs> next time and don't do the fiddling around that I did. That's how the pop-up box is going to go together. I was just sort of imagining it in my head and trying to get it, the idea in my head as well. So I went and did the back piece with the stencil and just the two colours. Sometimes I started with the dark colour first and went to the light. Other times I went from the light colour to the dark. I don't think it really made any difference at all and I couldn't really tell in the end product anyway so I wouldn't stress about um, which colour you're doing first and which colour you were doing second and then I just finish off that last little strip there with the darker colour and then the lighter colour and I also did the four pieces or actually you can uh, die cut two at a time so I die cut um, four of those inner strips and I think I think in the end I used three but I'm not 100% sure but I wanted to have quite a few things to attach my pieces to inside the box card so I just did a few of those little inner pieces too. Then I've attached those inside the box card as you can see and I'm going to use that leaf die to cut out some of those tropical leaves out of some green cardstock and I think I used about three different shades of green cardstock just out of my scrappy stock. Of card. Now I'm stamping out the birds and again wasn't sure how many I wanted to use so I just stamped out a whole heap with my um, extreme black ink and I haven't shown my colouring today because I think it would just make you fall asleep so I'm just showing you the Copics I've used to colour in each bird type so that you can recreate them if you want to. Then I'm going to cut all of the birds out using my dies and I don't usually separate my dies. Um, I usually try and keep them together and then roughly cut out my image, stick it behind the die like that and run it through my die cutting machine. Now I'm just collecting all my pieces together and some acetate strips which I use to um, attached to the back of the bird so I can have them flying or floating or popping out of the pop-up box a little bit. Just attach that to the back of my images. And then just when I'm constructing my pop-up box I usually like to put pieces in and see how they look and fiddle around a little bit with where things are going to go. I do usually start I think with 
bigger images at the back and have them a bit higher and then as I come to the front of the pop-up box I pick smaller images and have them sitting a bit lower so I, I think generally that's how I sort of construct these boxes and the birds are perfect for it because there's a few different sizes and images and they're doing different things so they were really easy to make it look like there was a whole different variety of birds in there and if I'd have stenciled the underneath of those flaps I could have laid it completely closed up like that and then popped it open to be a really nice surprise and I just wanted some sentiments for the front and I decided on a couple of the sentiments there birds of a feather stick together and I just stamped them out in Versa, Versa Mark ink and white embossed them and then trimmed them into little sentiment strips and then stuck them onto the front of the card and I've just put leaves on the side of the pop-up box as well just to add a bit of interest. You could put more birds there if you'd coloured more and cut more out. And when I'm posting mine, I usually do lay them flat just like how I showed you like that. But you could, if, as I said, if you'd stenciled underneath, you could have completely covered up the birds and then had it pop open to have them brightly popping out. So really quite a quick and easy card it looks quite complex a couple of these items are actually available in the wingman stamp set so if you uh, card kit sorry so if you're interested in card kits definitely check that one out at the heffy doodle shop and here's some more heffy doodle videos that you might be interested in watching so thanks so much for joining me today and i'll see you again next time